County from a local BT group. By the quart or by the gallon. It's a whole lot less expensive and delicious and very, very fresh. There's nothing more delicious than mm, local honey. I recommend it. Try to find a good beekeeper near you. All right, we're going to go ahead and get started uh, making our meat. Okay, I like to keep my honey a little bit warmer before I get started with it, so it's a real technical process. It's Georgia, and I left the honey in my trunk. <laughs> so it's nice and kind of soupy. Works real great. Now I've warmed up my water, and so we're going to pour this in while my son stirs. And see, a nice good pour light like there. Okay, our honey's ready. Come on over here, take a look at this. There's many, there's many opinions about making meat. I don't like to really boil the honey. I just like to heat it up. And you see these these waxes come up, and just trying to just get some of this off. All right, here we go. We have our sterilized carboy over here. We've uh, strained the meat, and we just did cut a little bit off of it. And now we're going to pour it in. You see this high-tech pour. Again, this is about keeping it simple and effective. Okay, so here we go, Keith. Now we're going to put in some ice water to get out of the, out of the freezer here, okay? With a combination of uh, warm, again, I never got this thing boiled. Don't boil your honey. And now we're going to put in some ice water here, and in the end, we should have proper temperature. gallons. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and uh, put our yeast in. Awesome. Completely inoculated. Now we have our topper with our vapor lock. We're going to put some water in there. Awesome. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to wait a month, okay? It is uh, August 31st, 2014, so I'll see you guys in about a month, and then we'll do the next step in making this meeting.